Natalie Gavin, welcome back to the University of Huddersfield. Thank you for having me. Um, you've opened our Careers and Employability Centre today. Yes. Um, but you've taken time out really from your main career, which is your uh, acting. Um, you've just finished uh, a production, a second series actually. I'm still filming. Are you still filming? Yeah. Right. Mm. You've just finished, uh, no sorry, you're, you're still in production. Yes. Uh, for the second series of uh, The Syndicate. Yes. Um, how did that role come about? Um, I was auditioning for uh, uh, numerous productions that I've started filming now, um, but none of them were, were, were right. Um, not necessarily for me, but for uh, the production as well, which happens when you're an actor. You, you can't always get yes. Uh, you do get a lot of no's, maybe too many no's. Uh, for your liking, but <laughs> you've got to keep going. And uh, there was this one particular one um, via a casting director that I'd met the previous week. Uh, this particular casting director has been with me throughout my whole career. Um, I met him at college. Um, he's called David Shaw. Absolutely adore the man. And he always seemed to see something in me and he, he, he keeps me in mind for certain things which I'm ridiculously grateful for. And um, I'd seen him for a, a programme that'll be coming on uh, next year, and it wasn't right. Um, so he pulled me in for the syndicate. And I got given one, two, and three in draft, and I just sat up all night and read it. More than once, it was, I just couldn't take my eyes off it. What did you like about it? Kay Miller is the writer and Kay Miller wrote Band of Gold, which is one of my favourite dramas of all time. Um, the, the authenticity, the, the, the reality, the, the characters that hold so much, they're almost real. Um, they are real. And it, the character, um, Becky, that I went for, uh, is not your typical character that I've played before which, like I said earlier on, it's that challenge. I really wanted to take this challenge. I really wanted to work with Kay. You know, I went that extra mile. I did as much as I could possibly do. Um, I had eight pages to learn for the uh, audition. Actually, the first audition, it's not compulsory to learn your lines, and I had eight pages of it, and I just kept going, kept going, kept going. I knew it. In the back of my, back of my, yeah, I just, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Uh, Every time I had two seconds to myself, I was reciting it. I was waking up first thing in the morning, I was reciting it. It's, I really wanted this part. What, what do you like about Becky? What, what is it about her, the character? She, she's my niece. It is my niece. Um, she, my niece is ditzy and she knows she is. I'm not insulting her when I say that. She's uh, really innocent, and really sweet. She's, she's such a caring person and She's girly. I'm playing a girly character. For the first time in my life, she gets dressed up. I actually look glamorous, which is nice. <laughs> 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 the first time ever in my life. Um, well, you research your, your roles, don't you? You take uh, yeah. great pride in doing that. Yeah, yeah. What did you research for this then? My niece. <laughs> <laughs> I became my niece. Um, there, was, uh, there wasn't particularly too much that I could research because she, I, I knew her already. I already knew her, which helps. Like Lou, I already felt like I knew Lou, yeah, for Prisoner's Wives. I felt like I knew Becky, but it was a different kind of knowing. This was a completely different character. Everything is so different. Um, the fringe is not me, it's my character. Um, the straight hair, it's my, I, I'm sort of walking around as Becky and not even... <laughs> you know. Do you find that? Do you find that you, you uh, when you take on a character, you are that character on and off? It, it does Day and night? Yep, yep, you have your co-stars looking at you like, you are a little bit too much like your character sometimes. Um, which is funny. But after the audition, um, I left. It went really well, ridiculously well. Uh, sometimes that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, so you've got to try and not get head over heels 
thinking that you, you know that you've you've got it in the bag. So I walked out and I found myself nearly getting run over. I said, "We're just, we're in a flutter, we're in this little dream world," and it's because that's that's the kind of character that Becky is. And I just mm. took me a while to shake it off. So you you you've you're halfway through, are you, uh, filming? Yes, yes, um, I am. Uh, we've finished block one and two. Um, not long. Um, this when, is my first you, couple then? of days off. All right. Yeah. Very lucky to have you here then. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and when will we see you uh, on, on the on the screen? I believe it'll be next year. Um, I did a, another episode of Casualty, which will be on this year. I'm not quite sure of the dates yet. Um, I've got, I'm in a film that called The Knife That Killed Me, um, and I play a florist, mm. and that. I, I do believe that I'll be in the cinemas in March next year. Very good. No theatre yet? No theatre yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. But you'd, you'd like to, I can tell that. Because that's another uh, way to... So it, it's a... Um, another method. Yes. Another, yes. another path to explore. Yes, I would like to do theatre. Um, my agent sent me for uh, a few... Uh, leads, uh, lead parts in theatre. How about Taming of the Shrew? Taming of the Shrew, can you see me in Taming of the Shrew? <laughs> can you? I, oh, I don't know, maybe. I, <laughs> I'll take out. <laughs> but um, I really want to work my way up. I mean, I, I did a drama and theatre studies degree. You know, I, I believe that I'm, I'm confident on stage with an audience. That's, that's not my concern, I think. Um, going for a lead role. I've never done a lead role on stage before and for paying customers and I believe I can do it professionally um, But it scares me a little bit doing a lead role. So I think that I'd I would like to challenge myself I really would but I'd I would believe I'd like to work my way up to a lead I'd like to a do bit it outside your comfort zone then. a little bit yeah. and if I don't feel 100% confident in, in doing something then I'm scared I won't be able to deliver so I, so I'd like to have a, have a good number of scenes, but I don't want to be the lead yet. But we'll see. Maybe next time you see me, I'll be like, "Yes, I did this. I did that. I was the lead." I doubt it. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. I would love. I'd like to work my way up. I would. I definitely not say no to the. I would love to do it. Natalie Gavin. Thank you very much. Thank you. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.